A new study found a potential link between common heartburn medications and an elevated risk of catching COVID-19. But don't throw out your prescription just yet. The study was based on an online survey of more than 86,000 people, more than 3,300 of whom caught COVID-19. The data suggested that those who took proton pump inhibitors, or PPIs, had about a 2.2 to 3.7 times higher chance of catching COVID-19 than people who don't take the drugs. The risk was highest for people who took two doses of PPIs a day as opposed to only one. But given that this was an observational study, the research cannot prove that taking PPIs actually caused people to catch COVID-19, especially since the survey participants may not be representative of all PPI users across the country. To solidify this potential link, clinicians would need to look at the medical records of patients with verified cases of COVID-19 to see if disproportionately high numbers use the drugs and to rule out that those same patients don't share other characteristics that could raise their risk of infection. The lead study author told Live Science, by no means do we say that people need to stop their PPIs. Caveats aside, if this link proves true, how could PPIs potentially raise the risk of catching COVID-19 in the first place? PPIs work by blocking structures called proton pumps in the stomach, which then prevents excess stomach acid from being released when we consume food. Normally, the stomach dips down to a pH of about three after we eat. But when people are on PPIs, the pH level of their stomach can be maintained at about a pH of six for around 24 hours. While the lack of stomach acid does help to treat severe acid reflux, heartburn, and peptic ulcers, it can also leave the intestines slightly more vulnerable to certain infections. Pathogens like bacteria and viruses can be killed by stomach acid with a low enough pH, meaning it's more acidic. But without that protective barrier, the bugs may slip through the stomach and take up residence in the colon. Theoretically, the same pattern could apply to COVID-19, which has been found to infect the gastrointestinal system. But again, that link has not been supported with hard data yet. For now, experts told Live Science that people taking PPIs should just ask their doctor if they could potentially lower their dose if they do take two pills a day, or else if they could switch to a less potent medication like an H2 blocker. This advice does not come from the new COVID study, but is simply just good clinical practice.